Hi everybody, it's Lori Manns with QualityMediaConsultants.com where we work with entrepreneurs and small business owners to help them get more clients, more brand visibility, and create revenue in less time. So if you have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I help business owners with growth strategies all centered around advertising, magnetic marketing, and smart soulful sales solutions. And I get asked a lot of questions about prospecting and how to convert prospects into paying clients because that's what it's all about, right? So um, I thought about what do I need to tell people in regards to the simplest ways, the easiest way that they can increase sales from converting their prospects into paying customers. So I came up with this short list of about five things and I want to talk to you about those things today. Now, step number one, and if you want to convert your prospects into paying clients, you're going to have to qualify them. That's the first step. You have got to do this because not qualifying your prospects and your ideal clients is going to be a big time waster. If you qualify them, meaning you ask them some pertinent questions, um, you're going to save yourself time and money because you're going to get it right the first time. And you're going to find out, are these my clients? Are these my ideal clients, my dream clients? So you're going to be able to um, cut down the, the wasting time factor, if you will, if you qualify your prospects, okay? So you can do this a couple of different ways. If you're online and your business is primarily online, you can have some type of questionnaire on your website. You can have some contact form that asks questions um, that you really need to get answer to before you even talk to them. Um, if you are a storefront and you have a retail location or something of that nature, of course you're going to have to have your salespeople qualifying people when they come in the door or some type of display on the counter that gives some gives them some information about your business and what you have to offer. That's the first thing. The second thing is I want you to ask the right questions. You are going to have to ask questions in order to move your prospects into a, a client mode. And these questions are going to be key questions to help you figure out do they meet your ideal client profile? Okay, so think of it this way. Most doctors do not diagnose you without asking you like tons of questions. If you go and say, I'm complaining of a backache or um, headache or whatever it is, they're going to start asking you a lot of questions in order to diagnose the problem and be able to give you a prescription or any kind of treatment. So it's the same thing if you are in a service based business and you're providing a service to your prospective clients, you're going to have to ask them some key questions about what their needs are, what their challenges are, what are they faced with? And then you're going to have to position your offerings that meet those needs. So if you ask the right questions, you're going to get the right answers to be able to position your offerings so that you will be helping those, pro those prospects make a decision about whether or not they want to buy from you. Now, the other thing you're going to have to do is you want to make sure that you build rapport and trust in any relationship. Trust is important and rapport is equally as important because people love doing business with others that they know, like, and trust. And those are the three things that sometimes we will do business or go out of our way to do business with someone just because we know them, just because we like them, and just because we trust them. So with um, getting this um, rapport built up, you want to build a relationship so that they really trust you with their problem. They trust you with whatever it is that they are in need of. And if they begin to trust you and they see you as a resource and they see you as an expert and somebody that they can go to in order to get their problem, challenge, or issue resolved or dealt with, trust me, they're going to move from prospect to paying client a lot quicker. 
All right, so that's number three, build relationships and rapport. Number four, you're going to need to define your unique capabilities. And you might hear people refer to this as your unique sales proposition. Basically, basically you're letting people know what's different about you. What's different about your product? What is the brand promise? What are you telling people that this thing, this product, this service, or whatever it is that you have to offer, what does it do for them? And how is it going to benefit them? So tell them what's unique about it, what's different about it, and make sure that you highlight those things in everything that you say, because the unique factor, the wow, I like to call it the sizzle sauce, the hot sauce, if you will, um, you can call it the wow factor, whatever cre uh, creative name you want to give it, make sure you put that up front and tell people what it is that's unique about what you have to offer. Then the last tip I'm going to give you is you must make direct offers with your prospects in order to convert them into paying clients. Because if you don't give people something to act on, something to move on, and uh, let them know that here's the call to action, here's what I want you to do, make a choice of these two things, or I have a special offer here, whether it's a discount on something, a, a limited time offer, something that you're going to have to do in order to make a direct ask in order to get the business. So you're going to have to close the sale, if you will. And sometimes you can avoid closing the sale just by consulting and asking them what they need. And, and really, sometimes business owners end up selling too much when if you really just positioned what your offers are to your prospective clients, they would sell themselves in some instances. So there you have it. Those are my five tips for how you can transfer a prospect into a paying client in less time so thank you so much for watching you can follow us at qualitymediaconsultants.com you can also check us out on facebook quality media consultant group follow me on twitter at miss quality media and please if you like this video subscribe share it tweet it and tell a friend and also follow this channel for more small business growth strategies in the future thanks so much and i'll see you next time bye bye